start. Coach, four wins in, in three days, and I'm going into the weekend. You're hoping <clears throat> to see the team mm -hmm. get back to the way it was playing a, a couple weeks ago. Uh, did you feel you, you, you saw that over the weekend? We did. You know, it was a long weekend. Um, Four matches in this, you know, amount of time is taxing on our players, but it's really good because it challenges us. It helps us, you know, get ready to play back to back. Um, even though there was a day in between, preparing for two opponents on a single day uh, was pretty difficult, uh, regardless of the level, and just keeping track of what we need to do to improve for match to match. So, I'm really pleased, uh, mostly with the performance tonight. Uh, we had some struggles throughout some of the earlier matches this weekend. Uh, but we came back tonight. I'm really proud of the way this group came back. Um, and in that huddle at the end, we talked about, you know, being pleased with the win, being pleased with the sweep, but wanting more. And we're left wanting more in a really good, positive way that we know that there's another level. And, you know, we're ready to take the next step because we open up Pac-12 play. And the idea of, of pressing our team and challenging ourselves physically, mentally, is to make sure that we do what we want when league play comes around. To the girls, what was kind of what happened at the end of that third set? I mean, obviously you guys rallied to be able to finish it out so that you didn't have to go to four. But how did you get to that point? What did you do at the end of the set? Um, I think we took um, our experiences from a couple of the matches earlier in this tournament, where uh, say it got down to like do sets and we ended up losing the set, and um, we just really I think came together, realized we had the lead, capitalized on it, and. Um, just kept in mind that we didn't need to push ourselves into a fourth set if that was the case. Um, really just coming together, finishing it, preserving our bodies for this tough week ahead we have coming up. Uh, Alexis, you uh, have been kind of relatively quiet by your standards the last couple games, but um, fast start tonight. You know, were you trying to assert yourself early, get the team off to a good start? Yes, um, well, I just had a lot of nagging injuries and things going on, so I haven't been able to play the way I wanted to. But so I took it differently to ship roll this weekend and just being able to keep the team fired up. And shout outs to Gab, Negetti, Felf, Cease, everyone, like for, you know, just t being a bigger person and being a better, like a bigger player on the court and taking more, you know, swings on the balls and <coughs> being able to make those plays because, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do it without them. and. They can't do it without me, you know, pushing them. Um, so it was just, it was great to see like how the team worked, you know, even though I was out of the scene a little bit. And Gabby, another uh, big day today uh, on, on the attack. This this kind of run you've been on the last few weeks, are, are you feeling more confident out there? I know the other day you said you've been working on your hitting more, but uh, you know, as as you know, some of the success has come, it seems like you're getting more confident, more assertive out there. Yeah, I definitely feel more confident hitting out on the pin, and I don't know, like I had already told you, um, that just working on it all week has like really helped me out. Um, from a player standpoint, what's the importance of coming out and dominating in three sets? The importance of coming out and dominating in three sets is to stay on top of it. Like, I feel like over the weekend we had a lot of ups and downs because we'll get those leads and, you know, kind of just rear off a little bit with those five, six points and then have to fight back into the, into, the, into the game. So when we get those three sets and you win the first two, that third set is crucial because, you know, you don't want to go to four sets. So it's, it's very crucial to just go out there and stay on top of them and just push through in the last set. Coach, can you talk about the play of the three ladies sitting next to you? Because they all played very important roles this weekend. Sure. You know, <clears throat> this team uh, functions because players understand their roles. Um, they understand what their job is. And we kind of have this thing where we can just talk about just doing your job. And I have players on this team, and I'm fortunate that when they just do their jobs, these are high-level performances. These are all American-level performances. Them doing their jobs are coming away with, you know, 16 points and hitting 455. And, you know, that's the beauty of having the players that we have. We have fantastic athletes. We have great players that want to be part of a high-level team. And when it's tough, they're willing to roll their sleeves up and make changes and make adjustments. Um, and I can't, you know, I can't appreciate or, or recognize these kids more than that to point that out, that that's not always the case. When you have high-level athletes, you know, sometimes they aren't the best teammates. Sometimes they don't work the hardest, um, but we don't have that. We have really great kids that will work probably harder than maybe players that, that have the same talent level. So I'm really positive, really optimistic, really excited about this Pac-12 season coming up because of the kids that we have on our team. 
Uh, these kids are great to coach. You know, it's not always great. I always tease them about the gray hair they give me, and they have to get, help me get my hair colored. But it's part of, of building a team and part of building a championship and chasing it down. It's not always great. It's not always happy. It's not always positive. But it is always meaningful. It's always about the team. And these three here embody that. You know, they're always working. They're having to make changes. Sometimes they're in really tough positions individually as players and personally. So they have to grow, and they have to accommodate, and they have to help, you know, to make sure, I think Alexis pointed it out, that she had to, to fill a different role sometimes. That's not always easy for a young person to do, particularly when they're used to doing something over and over and over again. So I'm really happy that I have you know, coaches with me that want to see these, these young women grow to be not just great players, but you know, fantastic people. They're great players to play with and be teammates with. And you know, I'm excited for the, the upcoming Pac-12 season to open up because we can do some really great things because of how they'll work together. Liz, about that Pac-12 schedule, obviously, it's opening up this week. Um, we've talked about, obviously, how difficult the league is. What's the challenge specifically for your team with, with, with the opening? I think it's four games on the road right off the bat. Yeah, you know, the good thing for us is that we opened up the season with equally tough opponents somewhere at home, somewhere on the road. I don't think we can have a tougher road trip than the one we had um, going to the yeah, freshman year or going to the, the, the Pac-12 Big Ten Challenge this year. So they've been tested. You know, we haven't had, you know, butterflies and roses. That's kind of our joke. We, it hasn't always been perfect and happy through this non-conference mm -hmm. portion or preseason. So they're ready. They're battle tested. They're ready. It hasn't been a perfect non-conference slate, but a, a pretty good one against really tough competition. And I know that they're ready because we've had those challenges. If you're never tested, if you're never challenged, if you don't ever actually fail, will you be ready when you have to step it up and when you have to, to play for us what will be a really tough conference slate? You know, we go on the road Tuesday, we play Utah Wednesday, and then we turn around, come home Thursday, and we hit the road again Saturday. You know, we have to have this mentality of being road warriors and taking good care of our bodies, making sure that they get all of their schoolwork done so they have to be disciplined. Um, and as high-level student athletes, that's what they are. You know, I don't have to worry about those things. I know when it's time to go and play. They're showing up to play, and I, I'm sure they're really excited, really excited to do something because it seems like this non-conference portion of our season has been really long because we've had some really you know, tough back-to-back -back weekends and some long weekends like the ones we just finished. So you know, we're excited to get going. Uh, Utah's the only one that we're thinking about right now. Um, so we go into their, their house on a Wednesday, and we have to make sure that we take care of business. You know, it's, everybody is 0-0 zero and zero in the Pac-12, and everybody has been tested, and we have you know, some good opportunities. You know, they have some tough losses in their non-conference, but I'm quite sure they'll be ready, and I'm even more certain that we'll be ready. Kind of same thing for the girls. What do you think the team has to focus on and, and execute to, uh, to have success in this you know, opening run of, of road games in the league? Um, I think we just really have to remember that every night in the Pac-12 is a battle. Um, there's no nights off, um, but I think if we, well, no, I know for a fact that tomorrow we'll be ready coming back into practice with a new mindset because essentially it is a new season starting. So we just got to get back to grinding and do our thing. Yeah, and I feel like um, just being prepared for the Pac-12, you know, conference is just a mental thing that we really have to work on um, mental-wise and also being consistent, very consistent with our play mm -hmm. um, and not having a lot of ups and downs. They covered it. <laughs> <laughs> they covered it, right? Yeah, I do want to mention something. I think uh, we're talking a lot about what we're doing looking forward, but I got to point out it's a really great weekend to be a buff. I mean, we went undefeated in all of our sports throughout the weekend. You know, credit to our football team for pulling off that great, great victory yesterday. I couldn't be prouder of my kids for pulling off four wins on the weekend. Soccer took care of business. They won today. Heard golf won their tournament, and one of the players shot a fantastic round. So this is what high-level athletics should be, and it's a really great, great weekend for the boss, and we're really proud to represent the institution. Yes, indeed. All right, thank you. Sure, cool. Thank you.